Welcome to Unleash Your Audacious Confidence on Win Win Women TV. This show is all about sharing the tips, tools, and techniques that will allow you to step boldly in the direction of your dreams, despite your feelings, fears, or past failures, to imagine what's possible for yourself and live the life you deserve. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this episode of Unleash Your Audacious Confidence here on Win Win Women TV. I'm your host, Alicia Curry, and on today's show, we're talking about our two belief systems. But before I get into uh, the meat and potatoes of the show, I just want to welcome you, welcome you to Win Win Women TV, and welcome you to Unleash Your Audacious Confidence. If you are unfamiliar with me or you don't know what this show is about, we are here to help you boost your confidence, as the intro says, despite your feelings, fears, or past failures, to really imagine what's possible for yourself and live the life that you deserve. So in order to do that, we dig into sometimes your beliefs, how you operate. We look at your mindset. We look at uh, multiple things, how your brain is wired, really. And for that, I have this amazing opportunity, if anyone's interested in attending a two-day, it's live, but it is virtual retreat about really expanding your vision and expanding your vision is all about confidence the confidence to see yourself greater than you you see yourself right now so expanding that vision and then understanding who you are and how you fit into your vision meaning how do you align with that vision how are you and the way that your brain operates really aligned to the outcome how how was that outcome going to happen with the way that your brain is wired. And then we create a a plan or map, uh, an action guide for you that is so in harmony with who you are to achieve your vision. So go to vision2024.now.site to learn how to ignite your vision for now and the future. So go to that website and check out more. And if you forget what that website is, you can go to alicia360.com. It has a pop-up. It'll pop up and you can find how to to get to that website. Also on alicia360.com is our free gift, The Seven Secrets to Audacious Confidence. So go there, pick up your copy, your ebook of The Seven Secrets to Audacious Confidence right there on alicia360.com. So now let's jump into our two belief systems. You know, I don't know how you can have confidence, true confidence in your faith or in yourself if you don't understand these two belief systems. And I'm boiling it down to two belief systems for simplicity's sake, just to simplify it, just so that we can, it's only a 30 minute show, right? (laughs) It's only a 30 minute show. So I want to look at these two very separate, very different belief systems, but how can these two very separate belief systems work in harmony together? And first it's about identifying. So I'm going to start with our spiritual beliefs because we are a spirit. We have a spiritual being. We are a spiritual being. And that's, that is not just me saying so because I'm a Christian woman and it is scientifically um, proven that we're energy. We are, we're energy, we're vibrating. We have an energe- energetic signature that we're vibrating at. That's our spirit. We are a spirit. And within our spirit, it's connected to the greatest spirit, God. It's connected to the spirit of God. 
So our spirit is connected to the spirit of God. Now, I'm not challenging your belief system. I'm not asking you to believe something differently. Uh, if you believe something differently, I'm just saying that we are we are these energetic beings, our spirit, and it is connected to the creator of all of us that is also a spiritual being. So we have this really deep spiritual connection. Connection, Whether you believe it or not, it is fact. Uh, the, I, I, you know, I kind of liken it to gravity. You may not believe in gravity, but the minute you step off of something, even a stool, you're going to come crashing down if you don't anticipate that you're going to go down. You can step down gracefully or you can fall off. Gravity will get you either way, right? So you don't have to believe in gravity to know that it is functioning 100% of the time. Our spirits are functioning and connected to a greater spirit 100% of the time. The challenge is, the challenge is, as we leave infancy and we start to, our brains start to develop, our minds start to develop, our subconscious mind becomes uh, programmed. That's our second belief system. It starts, our mind starts becoming programmed. And it's programmed with our environment. It's programmed from the people in our environment. It's programmed with the things in our environment. Because we don't see with our eyes, we see through our eyes with cells of recognition and that's what David Nagel always says, my one of my mentors, we see through our eyes with cells of recognition and we start to recognize what our eyes are actually seeing and put context to it in our mind. So I'm looking into a camera. I, If I had never seen this camera before in my life, I wouldn't know what it is until someone told me, programmed it into my brain, this is a camera that I look into and it records me. And so now the cell of recognition in my brain is looking at something and says, that's a camera and it's connecting to that. And it's created a belief. It's created a belief of what that is. That's the second belief system. It's in our minds and it is programmed to believe what we see. The reason our two belief systems are not don't function together. So the Bible says, that uh, they're at enmity with one another. They're actually in conflict with one another. And um, our, our spirit, which is connected to the all supreme God, spirit that's connected, is always sharing, is always downloading to us, always, always downloading. Now, um, in, in God's word, he says that we are spirit and life. So it's always connecting. Said God breathed life into us and we became another speaking spirit, a speaking spirit. So that spirit is always speaking to us and through us. But we need to understand how to connect to that spirit. And the problem is, as we age, our mind and our brain develops more and more and takes in more information and more information. And as it's taking in all this information, what's getting drowned out? That, that knowing, that subtle knowing voice. And that voice, that spirit, our spirit becomes more and more gentle, more and more quieted as the noise in our head gets louder and louder. And that noise in our head now creates that belief system that kind of functions 95 to 97% of our daily existence. And so if we're not consciously aware of what we're believing, there could be a lot of limitations that we put on ourselves and we're not even aware of. And this could be, could be why when you start trying to connect to your spirit again and you believe you have faith and you're believing so hard that 
yes, I can, yes, I can, yes, I can. And that voice inside that's been programmed to safety and it's been programmed to tell you what your environment means is telling you, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, that's not possible, no, you can't, no, 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 no. So how do you recognize that that's even happening? For me, <laughs> it was really interesting because for a long time, I saw it happening. Like I would have this great faith in a particular area. And I would believe with my entire being felt like my entire being was believing. But at the same time, I was doubting in my mind. I didn't even realize I was doubting in my mind because the words I was speaking, because the thoughts I was having were all in alignment with the thing I was believing for, with the faith that I thought I had. And it wasn't until I really started digging deep into what, what do you really believe about this? What do you really, really believe? Because your beliefs are so connected to your actions. They are inseparable. Your subconscious beliefs, I should qualify that. Your subconscious beliefs are connected to your actions. And so if you're believing on your conscious level, which is like, you know, the, I don't want to say superficial because it's not, it's not light or insignificant. When I say superficial, I meant, I mean, surface. So I'm not saying it, that it's, it's less significant by calling it in, in, um, calling it that I'm just saying that it's on the surface so um when I say superficial not less important hope you get that so on the surface you're thinking I'm believing for this I have faith for it I'm believing for it because you heard the word connecting your faith and you're like my faith I'm going for it yes but belief is a doing it's, a, it's really a doing action. So if you truly, truly believe it, are you doing it or are you doing the opposite? Are you resisting? You know, I talk in the seven secrets to audacious confidence that resistance is one of those, those areas that when you start recognizing your resistances, you can build confidence out of that. So this whole show is about building confidence, right? I'm going to give you, I know I've used this example many, many times on the show. I'm going to use it again. I'm going to use the pageant again, only because it was one of the first times I really stopped myself to recognize my resistance and the limiting belief that I had around a particular um, event. And so if you haven't heard the story before, I'm going to tell a little tiny bit of it again. So back in 2019, I was invited to do a pageant and I had been invited from 2017, 2018, and then again in 2019 and 2017, I turned it down. 2018, I turned it down. 2019, I turned it down three times before I said yes. And the reason I, t I couldn't understand, first of all, I asked myself the question, why does this keep coming back to me? Why does this opportunity keep repeating itself back to me? If something in your life keeps coming back, there's a reason for that happening. So don't keep brushing it off like I did. If, if you said, nah, nah, not even a solid no, it was more like, a, mm, nah, I don't think so. I don't think I want to do that. If it's a kind of a wishy-washy no and it comes back to you again, that's a signal. Could be resistance. Could be something you're resisting. Resistance is linked to fear. Fear is not faith. Fear is not believing. So I didn't realize I was in fear. I didn't realize I was in resistance. I just kept saying no 
because my ego was saying no, because I wanted to save myself from the pain of humiliation, of failing, of being judged, being judged my, by my friends. You are going to a pageant. I mean, come on, you're almost 50 years old. What's wrong with you? Um, you know, or I actually I was 50 by the time I did the pageant, but fear, all those fears were masking themselves. They were masking themselves as bravado. They were masked, not confidence bravado like oh i don't need that i don't need that to validate me i don't need you know um i don't need that i don't need to be judged by anyone else all judging is so um subjective anyway so i don't need to put myself through that why would i need to put myself through that so that was my deflection that was my resistance showing up and it was only when i stopped myself enough because the the opportunity kept coming back to me and coming back to me and coming back to me. And I stopped and I asked myself, okay, what are we resisting here? Why? What is this resistance? And in asking myself the question, that's when the belief started percolating to the top. And the belief that was percolating was about my value, was that I didn't think I was good enough that I didn't think I was worthy enough, that I didn't, I didn't, who do you think you are? Those things were the real beliefs. So the hesitation of actually doing it, remember I started this off by saying your actions are linked to your subconscious belief. My, my hesitation to do it was linked to this belief of unworthiness that wasn't from my spirit because your spirit tells you you're worthy. Your spirit has already assigned you worthiness before birth, like it's the most worthy and uh, righteous. It's already righteous. It's already worthy. It's already valued beyond. And so my lack of action, my lack of, or my, my action to re resist and to deflect and to say no and to all those actions were tied to my subconscious belief about myself. I wasn't taking action to actually sign up for the pageant, to say yes to it, to go in and do it, because the action that I was taking was more of hiding, fearful, uh, not doing it, and pretending, pretending to be brave and confident and Oh, I don't need that. I don't, I, no, no, no. So I want you to really think about what do you believe? What does your spirit believe inside of you? What is your spirit telling you? And if you don't know how to hear from your spirit, you need to quiet yourself and listen. A lot of times we're living in such busy worlds, everything's going, 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 all the time. But if you meditate, if you sit quietly, now you might hear a couple different voices talking to you. Not gonna lie, you're gonna hear a couple different voices. And that's when you have to start discerning the voice of the spirit versus the voice of your subconscious mind and the voice of your thoughts. Each of them have different beliefs. One system, though. your mind is all one belief system. So how do you then now then start separating the voices? Spirit, the voice of the spirit says yes to you. Not yes to fear, but yes to you becoming more than because we were created for more. We were created for increase. So anything that's leading you to becoming more, more life, more health, more, just more, 
and that more will glorify what I believe is your heavenly father, our heavenly father, but that more will continue to glorify um, the position that we were born into. So that's, if your spirit is leading you, it's leading you into that more life. If it's doubting, if it's unsure, if it's vacillating, if it's, ah, you know, maybe, could be, possibly, that's not your spirit. That could be from your subconscious. That could be from your thoughts as well. Could be from your conscious thoughts, trying to rationalize or justify and it could be from your subconscious thoughts trying to keep you safe. Because your subconscious, the reason that your subconscious and your and your spirit are at enmity with one another, they're at, at war with one another, they're you know, at battle with one another, is because your spirit is about more life and your your subconscious mind is about safety. And those two cannot coexist because what the safety is perceiving as dangerous, it's not really dangerous. Your spirit's not going to lead you into a, um, a, a deadly situation, but it's what your mind perceives as dangerous. Remember, when you were an infant coming up, all the messages, all the things that you saw through your eyes, not with your eyes, through your eyes and connected it to a belief, connected it to something. So if you had maybe a parent or an aunt or a grandparent that worried about everything, that was nervous about everything happening and don't go, don't do this, don't do that. You'll get hurt. Oh my gosh. Waking, waiting up for you. If you, if you were out and uh, 10 minutes late, if you're 10 minutes late, they're already calling the police for missing persons. Like if you grew up in that kind of environment, then the voice in your head might be one of trying to keep you safe, trying to avoid any challenges or disruptions. And you might be the same way with your children or your nieces and nephews or your grandchildren or 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 if you're a teacher or the children you care for just children in general you might be that same kind of you know worry that everything is going to happen instead of leaning into faith that you know what god's got them or whatever you believe it's got them <laughs> right i believe god so I'll just speak from the, my own uh, my own belief system, spiritual belief system. God's got them. I don't need to worry about them. And so when you're quieting your mind, quieting yourself to hear, that's a time to start discerning what those voices on the inside of you, where they're coming from. And if it's, if it's a resistance to action that will produce more for you, probably your subconscious can even be your conscious mind, but it's from the mind, not the spirit. So when you're trying to get harmony with your spirit and your mind, first you have to make sure you're hearing correctly, that you're actually quieting yourself and you're spending some time listening on the inside. You remember, I don't know if any of you have ever had um, parents that said, use your inside voice. Inside voice. Right. So we want to use our inside, <laughs> our inside voices to discern which one of these voices they are. And then when we start really connecting to our spirit and hearing from our spirit and our spirit starts guiding us into more life situations, then that belief, then the, the, the belief of the mind can come the more you practice that and listen to what the spirit is saying, 
the more the spirit, the, the belief in the mind comes on the subjection of the spirit. And you can hear from your spirit a lot clearer, which is really the best uh, guide for you. And then you can also train your mind to be more obedient to that voice than the voice of fear or worry or doubt uh, that it had, has been following. So I hope that was helpful in breaking down what the two different belief systems are. Um, I'm going to leave with this quote, Leland Van Vanderwall. <laughs> hope I get it right. Leland Van Vanderwall said, that the degree to which a person can grow is in direct proportion to the amount of truth that he can accept about themselves without running away. So you got to dig in, you got to dig in and, and find what the truth is and listen, listen so that you can start discerning which of the spirit is. And then when we come to paradigms, it says that our belief systems, which is our mental belief systems, and I'm looking over here because I have it written down on my wall. <laughs> our belief system is based on the evaluation of something. And frequently, if we reevaluate it, we will find, we will, no, if we reevaluate it, our belief about it will change. So if you're believing for something, and much like me with the pageant, where I was resisting, 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 because I, I was not believing that I had enough value to bring. And then once I, I recognized that that's what was holding me back, I re-evaluated that belief. And in re-evaluating that belief and really connecting it to my spirit, I realized that's a wrong belief. That belief is not bringing me more life. That belief is actually pulling me down. That belief is limiting me. That belief is not taking me where I need to go. So I need to erase and remove that belief and actually believe that I am worthy. A lot of people like using affirmations to help them. I like using action steps. Once I recognize something and I need to change that belief about it, I take action. I need to take some physical action to erase what I believed before and take action towards the new thing. Because that's when, like I said, with the subconscious, I want to I be able to do it so many times that it, it now embeds into my subconscious into a new belief. And the more I take action on that, the more now it becomes subconscious. And it's no longer a, uh, a fear-based belief, but I've completely flipped it, completely changed it. And now it's actually a belief that is serving me and not the fear. You have to recognize it though. And I hope I gave you uh, an example that can help you really recognize what it looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like. Um, so that if you hear it, if and if you hear it coming out of your mouth, you can say, ah, now I know what that is. So with that, I am going to tell you that I'm really, really excited to continue to bring this content to you. I, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash at Alicia Curry, A-L-I-C-I-A-C-O-U-R-I. -I -I. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to be sharing more tips, more shorts with tips and helping you to bring your best self to life. And with that, I want to say, go out there, be bold, be brave. And every day, do one thing, just one thing, to step out with audacious confidence. Until next time, I'm Alicia Curry saying goodbye, but unleash your audacious confidence here on Win Win Women TV. Mm -hmm.